Following the outbreak of COVID-19 around the world, we have seen an unprecedented decline in international air travel. As a result, for some economies, especially those dependent on tourism, it has for the most part been a very difficult time. One of those heavily impacted destinations has been Phuket, the resort destination located in Thailand. Prior to the pandemic, it was a popular destination, and there is a new effort to jumpstart tourism in that island, which has been referred to as the Phuket Sandbox Project. The Phuket Sandbox Project is part of the Thailand's government, specifically the tourism officials of the kingdom, and their efforts to reopen the country to international tourism, the first stop being Phuket. After being closed off for most of international arrivals since March of 2020, this new plan would provide a boost for the local tourism industry with Phuket being the first Thai destination to welcome back tourists who have been vaccinated for COVID-19. Under the plan, those who have received the approved vaccinations will not have to go through the standard 14-day quarantine normally that would happen after arrival in Thailand. Those planning to go to other parts of the country outside of Phuket will have to take a COVID-19 test within 7 days after arrival. Meanwhile, those planning to go back home within the 7 days after arrival will be subject to the COVID-19 test prior to departure. This scheme is scheduled to begin on July 1st, even as Thailand is facing a recent spike in COVID-19 cases. In anticipation of the opening of the Phuket Sandbox project, Thai Airways is planning non-stop flights to Phuket to select destinations in Europe and Asia, including London, Copenhagen, Paris, Frankfurt, Seoul, and Taipei as just some of the cities named. For the flights coming in from Europe, those flights are reportedly going to be operated as non-stop flights to Phuket before traveling onwards to Bangkok. From Bangkok, it will be a non-stop flight to those select cities. As mentioned before, this is an initiative to help reopen the Thai tourism industry. It is a major part of the Thai economy, providing upwards of around 60 billion US dollars in revenue in 2019. For Thailand, it is a very profitable industry, also an aspect of the local economy, which the hotels and the service industry heavily relies on. Due to the closure of Thailand's borders, the Thailand tourism industry and the economy overall has taken a major hit. This is why the Thai Kingdom's government is committed to this program. If successful, it could help reopen other parts of Thailand that rely on foreign tourists such as Chiang Mai, Krabi, and Pattaya. However, this plan could have some of its challenges, and among them is the COVID-19 situation in Thailand. Despite the reaffirmation of the Thai government and the Thai tourism officials to open the Phuket sandbox, the Thai government is still contending with the rise in COVID-19 cases, and an emergency decree for the emergency situation in the country regarding COVID-19 situation is still in effect. In response, the Thai government has extended the emergency decree through the end of July. The other challenge will be bringing people actually who want to visit the countries. Thai Airways is reportedly expecting a soft demand for travel, with some origin countries for tourists still have strict travel requirements in place. Even with the quarantine-free arrival in Phuket, travelers will still may be required to undergo a quarantine even after arrival in their home country. Another potential challenge would be finding tourists who have the money to go to Thailand at this time, given the current situation. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused mass damage to the global economy, with millions out of work. And those who may have had the money to go to Thailand in previous years will be spending that money on other priority items, like paying rent or buying supplies. Phuket isn't necessarily known as a business destination, and you're probably not going to have the kind of premium travelers that you would see in major cities which could use a travel bubble like Hong Kong and Singapore. So overall, I do see the prospects for the travel demand to Phuket and other parts of Thailand in this current situation as very bleak right now. This is one of the latest ideas to jumpstart international travel among countries, which for the most part, we haven't really seen a success story so far. What are your thoughts on the Phuket Sandbox project and is this the way to help jumpstart Thailand's tourism industry? I'd definitely love to hear your take on this. In the meantime, I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates in the aviation and travel scene in the Asia Pacific. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.